Hi Sagittarius, I'm Leticia and I am here with your astrology uh, reading for the first half of June um, 2019. Of course this is general and I have the tarot here so we're going to ask a spirit to also give us some insight as to what is happening in 2000 in the first half of June. So starting out we have a new moon in your opposite sign uh, on June 3rd. So this will be happening in an area for you of love and relationship. So this energy that is here for you, Sagittarius, is very light, is very playful, it's fun. So you will have an opportunity to uh, refresh and renew all your partnerships. So intimate partnerships, business partnerships, uh, any type of contractual or you determine it's long term type of relationship is being renewed and refreshed and there is a beautiful energy that's coming in for you here so um, that is happening and then we have on the fifth we have mercury your ruling planet moving into the sign of cancer so for you this is bringing new insights and ideas. The moon is also going to be in the sign of cancer at the same time. So uh, this is an area for you that has to do with um, finances, with uh, loans and uh, resources that other people bring into your life. It has to do with um, hidden things, things that uh, you don't necessarily want to show to the public, intimacy. So with Mercury coming in here, these are conversations about intimacy, um, stepping up with your partner, conversations with your partner about intimacy, what it should be, what it should look like, what you need, uh, more tenderness as it relates to uh, sex. You know, these are the conversations uh, being had. Also, talking about uh, money, talking about uh, with your partner necessarily talking about having those uh, getting getting the bills paid taking care of the things taking care of the debt that you have taking care of the loans that you have already taken out and should we get another loan you know should we get an equity loan on the house you know these are the types of conversations that can be coming up conversations about your mom conversations understanding what so if you have an elderly mom what should we do with her should we uh, move her into a, a nursing home or move her in with us you know these are the types of conversations that you could be having also if you're a single if you're not partnered then you could be having um these conversations with your mom uh you could be having these conversations with your family about um needing to be more vulnerable, needing to receive more intimacy, not sexual intimacy, but being seen, being heard, being loved, being um, acknowledged that you are here and that um, you want to be you want to be more involved with the family. These are the types of conversations or with your mom. Uh, a new understanding, a new conversation with your mom. In the sign of Cancer, we also have Mars there. We have the North Node of the Moon there. So with that, you are being pulled back to your family of origin and dealing with pain regarding your family of origin and your mother. All of this is, is coming in uh, at this time. I'm going to jump ahead to the, the 12th of June. And the 14th of June, these are really significant days because Mars is going to stand across. He's already in cancer in this area for you that we've been discussing. And he's going to stand across the sky um, from the south node of the moon. And the south node of the moon for you has been in um, your house of income that you earn. It has been there with Pluto and Saturn, okay, in the sign of Capricorn. So there has been a shedding and a release that has been happening regarding what you feel is the right way to earn income. 
and where you have placed your value on yourself. You've placed value on yourself based on the type of money you earn, uh, the income, you know, and how you're making money and what the people are going to say and does it look good and is it acceptable and do I look like, you know, the big man, the big woman with this type of, of uh, way of earning income. And so what is happening is that a release has been happening from that because the the, the South Node has been um, in this area for you with Saturn. Saturn has been asking you to face your fears. What is it that you fear regarding money and income and self-value and self-worth and, and where are you placing your energy regarding self-worth? So this has been coming up. And so now Mars is going to stand across the sky on the 12th from the south node of the moon. And then on the 14th, he will stand across from Saturn. And so now it is about becoming real. It is about what, how am I earning my income? Is it um, so satisfying to me? And there is fear around it. What if the people don't like me? What if they don't accept me? What if... I don't look like I'm a boss. What if I don't look like, you know, to the others, the, the onlookers? What if I don't look like I am the bomb? You know, what if? But there is a shedding that is happening for you and, uh, and a more an authentic way of seeing the world. Now, it's not going to come easy. It's going to come. There's an opposition. So there is this dynamic energy that is here and with mars there is combustible fire energy uh that is happening so with mars there is someone uh that brings up this level of frustration within you there's someone who's standing on the other side that is causing you to see this area of your life and come to grips with it and it brings up a fear but around that fear is truth. So this energy is asking you to face the truth about how you see yourself, how you see others, asking you to get down to the nitty gritty and the real of, of, what, um, of what is as far as your self-esteem, your self-worth. How, how is it tied up just to money and things that you collect and gather and climbing, climbing, climbing to the top? So there is a shedding of that and a facing of fear of that and a purging around that because then the next week, like on the 20th, um, Mars will stand across from Pluto, but we'll talk about that in the second half of the month. But, you know, just there is a shedding of all of this facade, you know, that, that we build up around what society has said that success and self-value and self-worth should look like there's a shedding a falling away and that is happening and it can be very painful um this change but it's happening nonetheless um and then we have on i'm going to go back to the 10th we have venus she is moving into the sign of gemini she has been in an area for you over the past few weeks that has to do with like co-workers and your daily activity, bringing a sweetness there. She's going to move the sweetness over into your area of partnerships, which is fantastic. You know, Venus sitting in your uh, seventh house of partnerships and relationships, you know, it just brings this ability for you to attract partners to yourself that are very giving and understanding and loving and they just love you and then uh if you are in a relationship it sweetens the relationship you know you are getting along better there's an ease that comes along uh with the relationship and there is a peacefulness there is that sitting on the couch you know watching tv um, relaxing. I was a very Taurian. <laughs> that was a Taurian example because I'm a Taurus, but it could be that you are going rock climbing. You're a Sagittarius, so you like to be outside. So you're going rock climbing with your partner. You're out, you're dancing. You are experiencing life outside. You're traveling. You are seeing lots of new people and having 
fantastic and great new experiences, okay? So that is what could be happening for you with your uh, partnerships and you could have new clients coming in if you are an entrepreneur, new clients coming in and bringing you um, their trust and their partnership and uh, all that comes along with that, all right? And so um, we're gonna go ahead and ask Spirit for Sagittarius what is on offer for the first half of June, 2019. First card is temperate, balance. It is using what you have, using what you have, using your mind, using the resources that you have to bring your life into balance, using the wisdom that you have to bring your life into balance. I'm using the African-American tarot deck. wisely using what you have sometimes we can be so focused on the future and focused on what we could have and pressing for what we want to have that we don't take into account and value what it is that we do have and using that in a powerful and balanced way To me, this is like Mars, this this card. This is the king of wands, like Mars energy, moving your life forward. So these two are here using what you have, using the wisdom and the resources that you have to move yourself forward, move yourself forward. Getting yourself unstuck, unsticking yourself. Mm, moving towards your wishes and desires. You move yourself towards your wishes and your desires. This is the Nine of Cups. You are using what you have to move yourself towards your wishes and your desires. It could be a love partner that you desire. Absolutely. Venus in your Seventh house could be a love, it is a love partner, absolutely. It's a love partner that you've wanted, you are passionate about it. These three are out. The sun card, major arcana, the ace of swords, you are thinking about it. And then the knight of cups, you are passionate, passionate about this person and moving your life forward with them. This is absolutely about a lover and moving yourself towards them. And it is absolutely blessed. It is absolutely blessed. So we have these three followed by these three. So you are using what you have. And that's the thing of it. Sometimes we feel like I don't have enough. I am not enough. You know, I need to have more of this and more of that. But Spirit is saying you have exactly what you need for that person, for that desire to link up for them. And they, you are what they want. And they are what you want. And you are getting the go ahead to move it forward. Venus is there in your house of partnership. And then it is about the intimacy. We have Mars there in this area of intimacy. And you are passionate about it. The uh, Knight of Cups. You have passion there. The sun is smiling on the relationship. This is how this person makes you feel. And this is beautiful and it is blessed. Okay. All right, Sagittarius. Thank you so much for watching. And um, there's information below if you would like to have a private reading with me. Have a great first of June.